I'm not a star. Somebody lied. I got it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Um, this is just a um, tutorial video, a workaround actually, on how to remove the DRM protection from iTunes rented movies. Um, it, you, this is an easier way to do it. Um, as far as movies you purchase and you want to get them on other devices, and these are for movies you purchased, you would just use a application like M4V uh, converter right here, and you're gonna need this anyway with this. Um, but I found that I rented I rented some a few movies right here from another account of mine. It's not my main account, but I had some credits on my other account. I used them to rent these movies. And usually, M4V Converter will just pick up those movies inside your iTunes and you can convert them over and you'll be set to go. But these rented movies, for some odd reason, since they're not from my original account, won't work. So it, it, the M4V Converter won't pick up on them, is what I mean. So I had to find a workaround as to how to get these to show up in M4V Converter so that I can use them on anything that I wanted. Alright, so I used the app that I got from the Mac App Store called iFlix. I'm sure you guys can find a torrent or something like that for it, but iFlix is this app right here. And pretty much um, what it does is you add a movie on there, it adds the metadata and all that crap, but it has one other unique feature. I can actually convert the movie, though it's not going to even if I convert the movie here in iFlix, it's not going to remove the DRM. That's the problem. But, however, it did allow me to drag it and put it over in my regular account so that, once again, M4V Converter can pick up on it and it would allow me to convert it with this program. So this is just a workaround if you're having problems inside iTunes 11 and you're having problems getting these movies here to your rented movies as you can see right here I have this, these are my rented movies and all my other movies are wherever no bunch of porn and junk like that um, yeah so if you're having problems with your rented movies this is just a workaround alright so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually since I've I already done Kill Bill and I did Kill Bill too and the only reason why I'm doing these and haven't just done a torrent is because I couldn't find a good one with the right subs the hard-coded subs and this movie Dragon that I just rented, Headhunters, JCVD, Jean-Claude Van Damme, whatever. So I'm going to um, right-click on that or command-click uh, Show and Finder, which it is on my Drobo. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to drop it over in here. and it's gonna, There it is right there. And I'm going to do this with all of mine since I need to get all of these done. Now, you need to be patient when you get, so I still got have some time with them now. I don't know if that thing just picked up the rim. No, 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 no. That is the wrong Dragon film. And the cool thing about iFlix is that you can go in and convert or change the information. So, I think what I'm going to do is this is a movie, but this movie was from 2012, so uh, let's try reload that thing. Come on. See if that works. If it doesn't, I'm going to skip this movie and move right along. All right, yep, skipping this movie. I'll come back to it and um, get that thing squared away. So I'm just going to delete that one out. All right, so I'm going to do these three, right? So first thing you want to do is make sure it says flatten to QuickTime. And then if you hold on, you see it says save video as QuickTime movie but keep current format, which is very fast also. Now you can do all these other conversions. Shit ain't gonna be that fast. I'm just telling you that now. So, I want to keep mine at 1080p. I want to keep all the quality. I want it to look just like it would if I downloaded it from iTunes, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do that. I'm not going to say add to iTunes. I'm gonna deselect that. That's that. You don't want to do that shit. Not not right away. No. Um, I'm actually gonna just have them add to my desktop, and then I'm just gonna say. I'm not going to select that either. So I'm just going to, hey, add, the, add, add it to my desktop, flatten it as a QuickTime video, and then I'm just going to hit Start button. Let it do its thing, right? So it's going to process process through, and that's going to be what that's going to be right now. And uh, when this is done, 
I'll come back and show you that the movies that I'm doing, the, the rentals, are actually on my desktop. All right? Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. All right, so this is it's done now. It took maybe about four minutes, four or five minutes. You see here, it didn't take very long at all for these videos to complete out. And they're right here on my desktop, full copies of the movies. Here's the thing, though. Don't get too happy just yet. Those... Those copies still have the DRM information on there. It still has the DRM protection, I mean to say. So they're still not going, you're not going to be able to play them on anything else or use them on another account. I've tried. But to get them in here, though, in the M4V converter, this is, what, this is the problem that I was uh, talking about earlier. When um, these rental movies are from another account. Now, check this out. I'm going to close down my iTunes, and what the M4V converter does is, when you open it, it actually opens, reopens iTunes and scans the library for you, but those movies don't show up in there because they're not from the same account, so I'm thinking that's the problem, or because they're rented and not purchased is why they're not showing up. So you see, when I opened up M4V converter from Kigo, it's made by Kigo, by the way, um, it opened up iTunes for me, but I'm going to show you something. Now... I'm going to add, try to add a movie, but it's not going to have the JCVD or anything like that. See? It doesn't show up anything. Now, if I type in Kill Bill, it's going to show the Kill Bill that I did, the one that I already completed, but it's not showing Kill Bill 2, right? Or Headhunters. Let's try Headhunters. It's not showing it. Because for some odd reason, I guess, I don't know if it's with iTunes 11. I don't know if it's because it's from a different account. They're all in the same library folder. All of these movies are in the same folder as the rest of my movies. I'll show you. Uh, show and Finder. And here's my Drobo Mini. Here's all my movies. There's like tons of movies in here, right? But it's not showing up here. It'll show any other movie that I purchase. Like I'll, if I go here, it shows Ted that I purchased. All these other movies that I owned or torrented at some point in time shows up in here, but the movies that I rented, they're not showing up in there. And the whole point of me doing doing this tutorial is so that I can show you how to get them to show up in here so that you can convert these movies in here and use them wherever you want to use them, if that makes any sense to you. All right, and a link to the download of Kigo M4V converter will be in the description along with a serial number to use with it. All right, so there you'll be able to get this. You're gonna have to get iFlix on your own though, but I've seen plenty torrents with iFlix. Um, if you you know, if, I'm sure you're if you're doing this, you're familiar with torrents then. So get yourself a version of iFlix or pay for it. I paid for it. I didn't torrent it, but. Um, back on the subject so I got this open right can't use these videos within here and that's the whole point I can try to drag it not gonna work see one movies can't be added in valid movie files or not exist I don't know whatever so I'm gonna try this one nope I'm gonna try this one nope so it's not gonna let me do it that's the problem I need to be able to code things. I need to be able to convert these videos in this program. So that that's what um, that's that was what uh, iFlix was for. Now Grant, I'm gonna close this down. Make sure you close that down and I'm gonna open up iTunes alone. Now Grant, these movies have been converted or tampered with with iFlix. But they haven't been put in iTunes so the MV, MV4 converter can recognize them, right? So I'm going to drag this one. I'm going to just say, hey, where, where is it? I'm gonna, where are you? iTunes. There we go. I'm just going to put you in iTunes. And iTunes is going to start pulling it over. But see, it's not going to be here in my rented movies. It's going to actually come over in my unwatched movies right here. But keep in mind, it's still going to have the DRM protection and it's still going to read it as a rented movie regardless like Kill Bill 1 here so it'll show me uh, let's see how much um, time I have left with the movie 
let's see, get in photo. It'll show you how much rental uh, time I have left with it. So, and these shows here, encoded with iFlex. So, let's see. Should I actually show me that information? I don't know. When you open up iTunes, it'll still tell you. You play it, it's still going to tell you that this movie um, is still a rental. And you can see here, it's kind of protected uh, or what have you. And it's just a fucking pain in the ass, to be honest with you. But, however, um, oh, there it is. Expires in 17 hours because I started playing it. Because I thought that since I did it with iFlex, maybe... I was good to go, but I was fucking fooled. So, expires in 17 hours, bottom fucking line. So, even though you tamper with it in iFlix, it's not going to work. But it will, what this does is, since it's here, and instead of in here and to rent it, and not showing up as, you know, plus it being from a different account and shit like that, um, now it's here. And now, MV4 Converter is going to pick up on this movie. So, when this one's is done, um, saving into my library, I'm going to be able to open up MV4 Converter and get that right on in there. Meanwhile, while that's doing that, I'm going to put these other two on there because I want all these. Uh, ah, there we go. All right, so JVCD is coming over. Headhunters is coming over. Kill Bill Volume 2 should be almost done. So... I am going to pause it right here, and when they're done being imported into the library, then I'll come back, and I'll show you the final uh, few steps. All right, guys, I'm back. So, I got Headhunters, Kill Bill Volume 2, JCVD, and as you can see, expires in 29 days, expires in 29 days, expires in 29 days, whatever. Like I said before, it still picks it up as a rented movie regardless of what you did to it in iFlix. And I can show you, get info right here, that these were tampered with in iFlix. Encoded with iFlix. Same thing is going to be here. And finally here. It's going to pick it up as a rental. But now they're in my library where I can use MV4 converter to open them up. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to shut down iTunes. So number one, am I, am I recording? Okay, yeah, I'm recording. So now what I'm going to do is open MV4 converter and it's going to open iTunes. All right, and I'm going to say add what it got up in here. Let's see if JCVD is ready to go. See? Shows up now. So I'm going to add it. Boom. I'm going to leave it same as source. It's going to go to my my Drobo Mini here, Drobo Genza. And I was going to say, well, I want to add some more. Uh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, add some mills. Um, and here's where you get patient. Like I told you before, at the beginning of the video, this crap's going to take some patience because it takes a long time for these videos to finish out. Alright, so go find something to do. Go play Call of Duty, Battlefield, Battlefield preferably. Find something to do with your time though. Um, so I got all those movies added now. And I'm going to say convert. And it's going to start converting it. And it's going to go to wherever you choose for your movies to be sent to. And that's here uh, for me. Um, like, here's the kill build that I did earlier today. But now I'll be able to play it on anything. Still has the right resolution that it did before. It's going to be a decent sized file because it's HD. Um, here's Ted that I tested it on. Kept this resolution like it was supposed to. Kept, if not even larger, the unrated version. Kept all the metadata. Here's JCVD coming through, and it's going to take some freaking time. This is just encoding audio. The video is going to take a long time, just to let you know. So, like I said before, find something to do with your time. Hopefully, this video was useful to you. Um, you guys are um, happy encoding and ripping and jacking iTunes for their shit. <laughs> All right, guys. You take care now.